boy from Thailand who's already had 170 fights. Now this is boxing and Muay Thai, and I believe the very last fight was a boxing match. He got hit hard in round number three. He goes down, out cold, dies. 13 years old. Now, what is going on in Thailand where it's perfectly acceptable for whoever it is that's putting on these shows to put in 13 year old kids with no headgear. Now I'm not really for tournament style anyway for these kind of kids, but I understand if you if this is a passion of yours, then you, you do need competition to go through, but big ass gloves and crazy padded headgear is what's required. Now, I know Thailand isn't the most richest country in the world and things like that, but surely to God, they can find some big gloves and some headgear. Surely to God. 13 years old, died. Now, he was doing this because he needed money for his education. Both of his parents died. So this was his way of trying to raise some kind of money to pay for his education. 13 years old. Who are the promoters who's doing this? Who's, who's putting on these kind of shows? Who's the referee? Who are the people who are training him? He says, this is perfectly acceptable. This is perfectly normal for a 13 year old boy to get in the ring with no headgear on and get punched in the head. As I said, it's not a one off. He had 170 bouts mixed of boxing and Muay Thai. Now I've got a 13 year old boy, he does Kung Fu and he does Muay Thai as well. But if I ever, ever found out that they got him doing some sparring without any kind of headgear, somebody's head will roll if I ever found out about it. But this seems to be a normal thing in Thailand, it's perfectly acceptable. And what happens there in Thailand, now this isn't to have a go at the Thailand people, okay. It's not about the country, it's about the people who are in control of all this, the people who are organising these kind of events. The sports ministers, all that kind of thing. And the sports minister says that they vow to reform their boxing rules because this young lad died. So it, it took a death for you to realise this was wrong. How backwards? Absolutely disgusting. Now this young lad, as I said, 13 years old, his name is Anucha Thasako. And, I, I, and I'm absolutely stunned, 13 years old. It's like he's been put into a damn cockerel fight or a dog fight. Is that what people do over there for entertainment? Who are the people who are buying tickets who want to see these young boys get beaten up in the middle of a ring for entertainment? How much money were they getting paid? I bet you it weren't too much. I bet you it weren't. As I said, who's the referee? Who goes, yeah, okay, I'll look after that fight. Who are the people who are training these kids to say, yeah, it's perfectly okay, it's acceptable? Who are the promoters? Who are the managers? Who's sanctioning these kind of fights? Now, I'm presuming it's not professional. I'm only presuming. I don't know. Now, I know in Thailand, a lot of their fighters, when they turn pro, and they do turn pro very, very young, and they end up having like 30, 40, 50 fights before they even step up. They put them on some kind of conveyor system, and, you're, uh, uh, and you know, they seem to be fighting every two or three weeks. I don't understand the backwards mentality. As I said, this isn't a diss on the country itself. It's a very beautiful place with a lot of beautiful people. But what is going on? Poverty is that bad that children have to step foot in a ring with no headgear on and grown people who should know better allow this kind of thing? Is it a case of that the paying public are not interested in watching children fight with headgear on? They want to see their face. They want to see the pain in their face when they're getting hit in the head. That's the only way that they're going to pay. Are there really that many sick people over there who want to go watch these kind of blood sports with children? I would love to find out 
who the promoters are. I want them named, I want them shamed, and if they have any kind of boxing license or combat sports license, have it revoked, get these people put in prison, have them horse whipped, have them buggered, have them whatever. This is not normal behavior, people. Not normal behavior at all. 13 years old, he gets hit that hard in round number three, he gets put out cold cold on the floor not moving gets rushed to hospital dies absolutely outrageous